Hello everyone, my name is Rodrigo Marcuzzi and I will present our work on 4D panoptic segmentation using sequences of LiDAR scans. But what is 4D panoptic segmentation? This task requires to perform 3D semantic segmentation and 3D instant segmentation consistent over time. To do this we go from 3D to 4D panoptic segmentation. We take as input 3D LiDAR scans and apply a single scan 3D panoptic segmentation backbone to get instance prediction and semantic predictions. And what we do is we associate these instances over time. We propose a contrastive aggregation network and an association module to get instance IDs consistent over time. We combine these with the semantic predictions to get the finally segmented output, and this way doing 4D panoptic segmentation. The main contribution of our approach are these two blocks that I will further explain. The first one is the contrastive aggregation network which takes as inputs the point features for each instance coming from the backbone. We apply then 3D sparse convolutions to learn from the features and the shape of the object, a pooling layers and some linear layers to get in the end a single instance feature. This feature is consistent over time because of our training schedule. We basically take positive and negative examples from the current scan, some previous and some future scans. And we provide these examples to the supervised contrastive loss. We take the examples by selecting the same instance in different scans as positives and as negatives depicted in red all the other instances in the scans in a batch. Then we apply our association module to associate the instances over time by using appearance and motion information. The appearance information we get as while performing the cosine similarity between these generated features we apply a constant velocity motion model to update the positions of the instances in previous scans and then compute the center distance with the instances of the current scan. Once we have that, we can get the association cost and use the Hungarian method to get the associations. This means how to associate the instances in the current scan with the instances seen in the previous scans. These are the results on the semantic kitty test set. What we can see is that we outperform previous approaches by around 3% points and when using the post information to compensate the ego motion, we also get another 3% points even better. It's important to note that the post information does not change the semantic segmentation predictions because the 3D panoptic backbone is a single scan one, so the post information does not change this. In this video, we can see the temporally consistent instance segmentation achieved by our approach. And as a short summary, what we do in this work is 4D panoptic segmentation. This means 3D semantic segmentation and 3D instance segmentation consistent over time. We leverage the features coming from the panoptic segmentation backbone, and then we use contrastive training to get per single instance features. Then we associate the instances over time to in the end get 4D panoptic segmentation and outperform previous state-of-the-art approaches. Thank you for your attention.